Lady tells police that ambulance and stabbing victim blocked her BMW. After she discovered an ambulance and EMTs working on a stabbing victim behind her BMW, a woman went on an unsympathetic tirade, harassing them and demanding they move. However, when she went and complained of her issue to the police, she was unpleasantly surprised by the unapologetic response. The incident, which was captured by Los Angeles County resident Rob Bermudez, showed an unidentified woman furiously pacing the parking lot next to the Mexico Cafe in San Bernardino. Apparently, the woman was incensed that her BMW had been blocked in by an ambulance filled with EMTs performing life-saving procedures on a stabbing victim. It's true that most people don't like being inconvenienced by interruptions to their schedules. However, most people would also make an exception for incidents that involve saving a human life. Unfortunately, one California resident didn't find a life-and-death situation worth giving up a moment out of her busy day. The woman had apparently begun harassing the first responders just moments before Bermudez managed to start filming the heated exchange. The woman had demanded that the medical professionals, who were in the process of treating an individual who had been stabbed in the head, move the ambulance so she could back out her vehicle. Ma'am, I'm doing my job. Please, get in the vehicle, an EMT said. Yeah, you need to move it, the woman yells back. In due time, the EMT calmly replies. The woman hounds the EMTs as Bermudez steps in to confront her for harassing the first responders. Incredibly, she not only admits to her appalling behavior but attempts to justify her sense of entitlement. I think that he needs to move, she says. Because he's blocking you in, the man recording asks. Yeah, she exclaims. I'm sorry that people don't like that. That's just tough ass. Why are you harassing first responders doing their job, though, he asks. No, I asked them to move, she retorts. Eventually, the video cuts to a confrontation with a San Bernardino police officer, who attempts to reason with the indignant woman. Unbelievably, the woman once again complains that the emergency workers must move their ambulance so that she can leave. Unfortunately for her, she wasn't expecting the officer's response. We have someone who got stabbed in the head, so, we can't do that right now, okay, a San Bernardino police officer tells the woman. Well, I'm not going to stay here for them, the woman snaps back. You're going to stay here, the officer responds. The woman pauses for a moment before trying to intimidate the officer, arguing, no, we're going to move the car. She suddenly backtracks when she is approached by a man, possibly her husband, who tells her to calm down and reiterates that they're not going anywhere until the EMTs are finished. In one final attempt to save face, the woman again engages the police officer, arguing that there is no reason for the EMTs to remain parked behind her car, even to treat a stabbing victim. The woman condescendingly asserts that if the circumstance was an emergency crisis, they wouldn't stay there. Of course, her contention is ignorant, as EMTs are routinely faced with critical situations in which they must stabilize the patient before they are able to transport them. Additionally, emergency workers aren't able to leave until everyone and everything is secure in the ambulance, even if it is no longer an emergency crisis. According to Bermudez's post, the woman was identified by Facebook users as an operating room registered nurse at Corona Regional Medical Center, but this remains unconfirmed. He later alleged that she was fired from her job because of the video. This individual is no longer an employee of Corona Regional Medical Center. We do not condone this sort of behavior and appreciate all those who have brought this concern to our attention. If she were the one being treated for a life-threatening injury, she would probably want the first responders' full attention on her instead of some entitled harasser who is upset that they have to wait a few more minutes to leave, 